Hello guys, c 3 Toxic here and today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your Windows 10 for gaming in 2021. Alright guys, so pretty much in today's video I'm going to be showing you an optimization pack that I created and it's going to be able to boost your FPS and optimize your PC for any game. Alright guys, but before we get into the video, I would just like to say, if I help you out in today's video, consider dropping a like and subscribing as it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so for the st first step, you're going to go into the description below and click on the optimization pack link. It should take you to this website. All you want to do is click free access with the ads and click on discover interesting articles. Ain't nobody getting any free advertisements from, from me. Just click on this X. Should give you a timer for how long you need to wait. Obviously there's only one second left. Click on it and there might be a thing for notifications. Just turn the notifications on and you can disable it later or disable Chrome notifications and you'll be quite good. All you need to do, click continue and you should be taken to the next page. Obviously right here it shows you how to download it but I'm going to show you anyway. Just click on download optimization pack. You can trust this website as obviously it's verified and it has its virus checked by Avast so you know you're pretty safe. Just click on this .exe file, don't worry it's nothing bad, it's just an installer. It just opens up like this, click next and it might show you an advert, just, de just click decline and as you can see it's just completed without even editing it, just click finish and as you can see it's already downloaded the optimization pack. Just click open and drag it onto your desk. Alright guys, so once you added your fi file to the desktop, you need to make sure that you have 7-zip or WinRAR and if you do, then just right click on it and just extract the files, click OK and it should start to extract the files. Alright guys, so if you don't have 7-zip or WinRAR, I'm going to be putting it in the description below. All you need to do is click on it and download it and you should have it. Alright guys, so once you have extracted the file, it should look like this. Just double click on it and it should open up. So obviously the first thing you're going to do is go into the first file, click restore points and you're going to click on your drive with your windows located on or with this little word system. Just click on it and make sure this is the protection is on and click configure and make sure that it's at least 5% or this number here is bigger than this one here. It's current usage of windows settings. I'm putting it at 5% as a really safe place for everybody but if it goes over 5% just increase it until it meets this one. Click OK and now once you have this selected click create. Now I'm just going to call it backup so I'm just going to be calling it backup t3. Just click create and it should start creating the restore points. Or guys it shouldn't take too long probably a maximum of five minutes mine might take only 30 seconds as you can see it's already finished and now let me explain what a restore point is store point is pretty much a way to save how your computer was at the time of creating it so right now i've just saved how my computer is before i've changed all my settings and recorded this video if you want to go back to an old restore point just click on system restore click on next and click on this one here and then click next and just follow the tutorial i don't want to restore my computer right now so i'm just going to do that later on if i want to now let's go into the cleaner files so just double click on this run button and type in percent temp percent must be exactly like this just click ok this thing should open up just click on one of them and select all or control a and then delete them as you can see it's deleted all of them if, if a notification pops up saying that this file is in use just click skip for all and then click skip as it just means that your computer is still using it but temporary files they're pretty self-explanatory the temporary files that your computer doesn't need anymore and if it does it'll tell you. So just close out of there and you can click on run again and type in prefetch. Just click OK. If this pops up then you don't need to do the step but if a window pops up like temporary files just delete all of it. Alright guys so the next thing you're going to do is go down into disk cleanup, double click on it and clean the disk that has windows located on or where your gaming is on. So I'm going to use my C drive, click OK and it should start calculating of how much it can save up. There you go, it opened up and now you just want to make sure you select everything that you know what you're deleting. I'm going to delete all of the stuff here and OK, just click OK and this should pop up, just click delete files and it will start deleting all the unnecessary files. This shouldn't take too long, 
but I'm gonna cut to when it's finished. Alright guys, so it has finished, I'm just gonna go out and now we can go into performance boost. Let's open it up and now let's uninstall apps that you don't need. As you see, should open up this window. Just uninstall any apps that you don't want. Let's just say I don't want this here, I'm just gonna uninstall it and you can uninstall it there. As you see it uninstalls, there you go. Now you've just finished and cleaned up some space. Once you've done all of it, just close it out and now we can go into the next step. Click on start up apps, this window should pop up and you want to disable everything that you need. No, you don't want to start up immediately. I don't want Origin opening up, it's really annoying. So I'm going to disable it. Also, this one here, disable it. NordVPN, disable. And let's just say this one here, I'm going to keep it enabled as I don't exactly know how important into it is into my PC. So, like this is for my mouse, I'm going to leave it on as it's important. So, once you've disabled everything, you can just close out and we can go into graphic settings. This window should pop up. You click on this here and click on desktop app, browse, and it should take you to this window here. It'll probably take you here. Just click on program files, then Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and click on Win Ship bing.exe click on that one and click on options high performance and save now you've just made your pc use most of the performance onto fortnite or whichever game you want to use i'm just showing you fortnite you can do any games but yeah let's close out and we can go into the next setting so now you want to optimize your sound setting this can actually really give you bad input delay and can really harm your computer's performance just click on your speakers that you use this is my headphones click on properties then click on effects click on disable all effects apply okay and you should be done and now let's go into performance options once you've done this you want to click on adjust for best performance then click on custom click on this here you can leave it blank if you want the best performance but if you want some nice parts of the windows just click on these two here once you've selected them just click apply it should start applying them and click ok now we can go into prowl plan guys i would just like to say that i'm going to be crediting adam x for this as he did create this power plan here's his youtube channel link you can go subscribe to him as he is somebody that i'm really inspired by so hopefully you guys get inspired by him too now all you want to do is just click import at max's power plans just click space then delete other power plans as this can really help your power plans as windows switches to random power plans at random points so just delete them so windows can't switch to it and if you guys do want them back for whatever reason click on stock power plans and run this here if you want it normal and if you want high profile performance just click on that and whatever now you can go back and there you go all right guys so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys have a really good fps boost as this is really good for your pc and i've spent a lot of time creating this but remember credit to adam x for the power playing as he worked for that and i'll give credit where credit is due all right guys without further ado i'll see you next one Bye bye